We're here in Nashville, New Hampshire at the First in the Nation Republican Leadership Summit. Being the First in the Nation is important to New Hampshire. I wonder how far that extends. If South Carolina jumped off the Empire State Building and threatened to hold a primary as it was falling, do you think New Hampshire would jump first? I think so. It's very important to our state to be the first in the nation. We really find a lot of pride in it. Why would you make up a card that just identifies yourself as a New Hampshire voter? The reality of it is there's so many different people here, they're really out trying to get my particular vote. Now, I don't want to burst your bubble, but isn't it true that with the rise of the money primary, the voting primary, such as New Hampshire, isn't it irrelevant? I would suggest that every vote counts. As much as every dollar? Uh, Scott Walker of Wisconsin, he seems to be leading in early polls. Now, do you think the Koch brothers will up his allowance and allow him to really clinch the deal? Well, I think it's really hard to buy an election in New Hampshire. Really? Now, Ted Cruz, yes. he raised $35 million yes. one week after announcing that. Unbelievable. Now, do you think that's more of a desire to have him in the White House, or is it more of a ransom payment to get back the Senate? I think it's a little both. And what I've tried to do is, is just stand and fight for liberty, fight for the Constitution, and, and honor the promises I made to the men and women who elected right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank Senator, you. Senator, they're calling that $35 million he raised more of ransom to release the Senate. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know who the they is, but whoever they are are, are making things up. There will be a number of voices other than the Koch brothers, um, like uh, Jeb's super PAC, that will have something to say about that. Oh, even more yeah. money. Governor Bush expressed surprise that he wasn't able to exclude other candidates from the event since he assumed that New Hampshire was part of the Bush family real estate portfolio. I have a right. quiz okay. that will help us determine whether you are in fact an established Republican or a Libertarian. I'm game for it. U.S. foreign policy should A, be modest and avoid unnecessary overseas entanglements, or B, take a breather in August so my clan can leave their embassy posts and gather at our summer place on the Cape. No, no. A. The Federal Reserve is A, a secretive, out-of-control institution that endangers our republic, or B, where my dad worked and I had my first summer job. <laughs> Christy is known to fly off the handle every once in a while, but do you put any stock in the rumor? I've heard that when he crossed the state line, he saw that sign that said, Welcome to New Hampshire, live free or die. He leaned out the window and said, No, you die. <laughs> saw that sign that said, Welcome to New Hampshire, live free or die. He leaned out the window and said, No, you die. Does that I make any sense to you at I all? haven't heard any no, anything about that. that. You leaned out the window and said, No, you die. <laughs>